Hey, welcome back. This is part 10 of my Obsidian X Draw walkthrough and I have some miscellaneous items that I'd like to show you. So first of all, um, in settings, I have a couple of settings I haven't uh, showed you until now and I'm going to do that right now. So if I come to my X Draw settings, then you can see I have this autosave uh, functionality uh, you can set up uh, auto save then your drawing is going to be saved every 30 seconds I did this uh, especially on mobile uh, I had a couple of uh, ex examples when for some reason my drawing wasn't saved uh, when I uh, killed uh, the obsidian application by swiping it off the screen um, and so this solves that the thing is it does uh, sometimes create a bit of a glitch as you draw or disrupts your uh, drawing flow uh, it is not very frequent but it it is not as smooth as i wanted so therefore it is now available as an option that you can turn on uh, otherwise your drawing is saved whenever you close the file or close obsidian or move to another pane so your drawing is saved regularly just not uh, every 30 or 15 or whatever seconds if you enable this that's going to happen second um, when you create a new uh, drawing using for example uh, the button here uh, in the ribbon but also using the command palette or uh, any other means uh, it will get an automatic file name and you can set that here you have the option of adding a prefix and you can add a date to the file name and so you can see this is how this uh, file would look like following uh, this description uh, if you want to understand how to do your date and time formatting, you have a reference available here. So those were the settings I wanted to show you. Um, in uh, Obsidian, uh, not Obsidian, in Draw, you have some other features that I use sometimes. So one is the uh, Zen mode and view mode so you can uh, simply uh, switch between these so if i turn on view mode uh, then you see that uh, from this point on my drawing uh, cannot be modified it can only be viewed uh, actually even the links don't work but this is good if you don't want to uh, change your drawing and zen mode on the other hand uh, just uh, oops that wasn't this is Zen mode uh, that hides some of the uh, float in uh, panels that uh, block the view uh, and you can uh, turn on and off Zen mode using uh, alt Z and then going further some of the plugins uh, I enjoy using with Xcolid Raw so one is Ozon's image in uh, editor and so here's the link you also find it in community plugins and this is an awesome plugin what this does is it actually um, transcludes the Xcoli draw drawing so if I for example look at this document you can see um, that if I go into edit mode that in edit mode I have my drawing here or I can have a PNG or SVG or PDF document and uh, during or in edit mode I already see uh, it's sort of a what you see is what you uh, get type of editor feature. Uh, what you need to pay attention to is the way Ozan's uh, plugin work it is a file name must include .xcolitraw or it could also just include .md as I explained in an earlier uh, part which was uh, part 5 I talk about this um, otherwise if you don't have uh, the .md or .xcolidraw uh, in the editor view Ozan's plugin will not display the picture uh, it will still uh, work in 
uh, preview mode but uh, that's something to know about the plugin still super uh, fantastic uh, tool and extremely useful so I, I recommend that you go ahead and install Ozon's image editor uh, the full screen mode plugin is also very helpful so if I press I configured it to alt F11 and it brings my drawing full screen if I press escape I'm back to the uh, normal view this is uh, also available on the common palette so uh, on the common palette you can also select this command this is um, very helpful uh, for example when you want to draw full screen uh, on a mobile device and uh, in the previous part I already talked about templater and data view through Excalibur Automate uh, these uh, item, these uh, plugins uh, have also uh, great additions to uh, use with Excalibur. And then some items that are on my mind in terms of a roadmap still. I do want to implement image overlays, i.e. I want to be able to load a PNG or SVG drawing in the background and so you can draw on top of it using Excalibur. Um, I'm uh, thinking about solving some of the issues in terms of adding uh, custom fonts that you can change one of the font families. Uh, I got this request to include, for example, Chinese handwriting fonts, but if I solve this, then I can solve it for uh, other custom fonts as well. Uh, as well as I received a request that it would be great if you could specify your own custom color palette. So those are some things that I'm looking uh, into as well as I'd love to create uh, image map exports. I, if I export this as an SVG or a PNG document, then this document should actually be exported with the links. Uh, imagine a drawing with some web links and uh, then it will be a nice uh, image map solution and then some of the one may maybe one day maybe items I have on my mind is to improve the chart uh, functionalities I, I talk about charts uh, in uh, part three uh, when I talk about groups layers and alignment I think this is where yes indeed so here's my sample data uh, for charts and I, I talk about that in this part as well as <clears throat> I mentioned in Excalibur Automate uh, in part 9 that uh, I think uh, with some limited work I could build a tool to convert uh, mermaid uh, scripts into Excalibur drawings and then there are some uh, fun Excolidraw projects on GitHub, like this stop motion project where you can uh, put together uh, this uh, drawing and then uh, go ahead and animate, uh, create an animation. So that would be great to include uh, within uh, Obsidian this feature, but these are really these. Um, uh, one day maybe items and that concludes my walkthrough of obsidian x call it draw 1.2